Yes, dear students, here topic is equipotential surface. Equipotential surface. Uh, we know any system of point charge or single charge produces electric field. We know every system of charge or a single point charge produce electric field. If in that electric field we find a surface which has same electric potential at every point, then basically that surface is called equipotential surface. I have written on the board the locus of points. I have written here equivalent surface in an electric field in a space the locus of points having same electric potential at every point is called an equivalent surface this surface may be a sphere may be a plane surface we know four point charge q at distance r electric potential v equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r so potential due to point charge q remain constant if r remain constant for example here point q o here place point charge q this distance r this is r and r so, so this is sphere which center has charge q is an equipotential surface. It is a sphere, not a circle. That's why I written in an electric field in space, the locus of points having same electric potential at every point is called an equipotential surface. For a point charge Q, uh, potential distance R given by V equal to 1 upon 4 by 2 by R. So if a point charge it placed at some point over say origin then at uh, distance r in space potential will be same so all spheres uh, concentric sphere having their center at a given point charge will represent equipotential surfaces right? so i can write here we can write here for a point charge Q potential at distance R is given by V equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by R so at every distance r from this o every distance r from this o we will get the same potential and that that the locus of points equidistant from a given point in space is called sphere and hence hence a sphere uh, whose center has a point charge is an equipotential surface is an equipotential surface surface and all spheres hence you can say hence all spheres in space having their center at a point charge will be 
different different equipotential surfaces Here you can draw many sphere around the star. The potential of all surfaces. The potential of all surfaces will be determined. will be determined by the distance of surface yeah, of uh, surface from given charge. As shown in figure, actually equivalence of base are in addition of electric field lines are used to represent electric field. Here this point charge is there. The field lines are readily output if charge is positive and inward if charge is negative. And uh, <coughs> surface this sphere at every point of the sphere. Electric field lines are perpendicular. So at every, at any, uh, at any uh, equivalent surface, electric field lines are perpendicular to the surface. We can prove it in many ways. If any surface has a component along surface, means field is not perpendicular surface then there will be a component of electric field along surface suppose there is a surface and field line are like this so we can resolve this E in these two components suppose E force theta and E sin theta so this E sin theta will have tendency to move a charge now we and if charge move but on any electric equivalent surface like any conductor, charge uh, remain stationary. So that does not move to no no field along, along surface. And hence there is no tangential component of electric, there is no uh, tangential component of electric along surface. So field is normal. Other way we can prove mathematically. Uh, I can do it here. If there are two points on equal surface A and B and electric field is E, if there are there are two points two points on an equipotential surface equipotential surface. At distance delta x. I mean, there are two points on an equal surface at distance delta x. So, uh, if we have a test charge. Q0 then electric uh, then force acting force acting on this charge
due to electric field. It is equal to two zero e. Like here, electric field with e everywhere. Because electric field, no air distance are has same angle due to point charge q. So work done in moving. Work done. In moving, first charge from one point to another, from one point to to another, delta W equal to Q zero. E don't get back. Work done, you know, W equal to F dot B. Don't put up a positive displacement. Or from here, delta W upon Q0 is equal to E dot get back. E dot delta x but delta w upon q0 equal to delta v potential difference potential difference between two points That is delta v equal to vector e dot delta x. But the two points are on equal surface. Since two points are at equipotential surface. So, delta v equal to 0. There is no potential difference. Suppose these are two points here and here. Then potential q by r here, q by r here, potential will be 0. And hence, what should I write? Vector e dot delta x is equal to 0. And we know if two vectors are such that they are dot product 0, scalar product 0, then they are perpendicular. Anna? Mutually perpendicular vector have dot product 0, so vector E perpendicular delta x. So at every point, what should ever be the shape of equivalent surface? Every point on surface, at every point of surface, electric field lines are Perpendicular. Uh, in our NCRT book, there is a question. <coughs> in our book, a regular surface conductor has. Here, charge is there. So, there, since charge is static, hai, and you have learned in lower classes, electric charge flows from higher potential to lower. If charge is taken, means charge is not flowing, means potential at every point is same. And if potential at every point is same, it is same of conductor. So if you have this any conductor on which you have given charge, which gets spreaded on the surface, and in a steady condition, charge does not flow. If charge does not flow, means potential is same. And if potential is same, then electric field lines are normal to surface. This is normal, this is normal. Everywhere they will become normal to surface. Okay. And in their book, uh, we are shown like this field line like that. Okay. 
So well, that was incorrect diagram. Uh, I did not discuss that at that time because this to be why not to. So this is elect uh, conception, right? So any conductor having a static charge on it, whatsoever the same, regular or irregular, is supposed to is an equivalent surface. But remember, here magnitude of electric field will not be same. If it is irregular surface, if it is irregular, it has a static charge on it. But having the same potential, field may not be same because field is given by sigma cone epsilon zero. Electric field magnitude at surface of charge conductor is sigma cone epsilon. Sigma equal to charge density cube cone area. So here this is sharp end. So here area less to charge is other. Higher only. It is a flat surface. Large area. Radial curvature by 4 pi r square. Na, area. 4 pi r square. So if flat was the radius, what is Larger the radius, more the uh, bigger the area. And bigger the area, lower the surface charge density. So if we have a conductor like this having charge, static charge, the surface is equipotential, but field magnitude of electric will at different points will be different. Sharp for the edge, greater the field. Like that. Now so here <coughs> I told you that for a given point charge, spheres whose central ion given charge are different equivalent surfaces whose potential is determined by distance from the given charge. Now we use equivalent surfaces to represent electric field. A uniform electric field can be represented. Uniform electric field can be represented by plane surfaces for uh, having same distance uh, for same potential difference as shown in figure. Here are the the These are the field lines, suppose. Field line, if they are equidistant, they, they represent uniform field. They represent uniform field. Now, if we want to show equal surfaces for same potential difference, it is one surface S1. This is another surface S2. This is third surface. S1, S2, S3, S4 are different equivalent surface for same potential difference delta V, delta V, and delta X the difference. So for same potential difference, the equivalent surfaces have same distance between any two uh, surfaces, then it is equivalent surface. Now if field lines in electric field, suppose it is in x direction. In x direction, field is decreasing in magnitude. Then how to draw equivalent surfaces? Field in the x direction anyhow decreases. So then field line will go apart. Field line will go apart. I mean, like this. Field lines will be like this. Then how to represent this field? This is one surface. This is one surface. For same potential difference, it is here. 
second surface. And then third one, this distance will be increasing while delta will be same. Delta x1, delta x2, and then fourth, delta x4, delta x2, delta x3. Here delta x1 less than delta x2 less than delta x3. So you can represent the uh, you can use the electric uh, equivalent surfaces to represent an electric field which is decreasing in magnitude. Why it is so? Because you know E equal to minus delta V upon delta x. Or <coughs> delta V equal to minus E delta x. So if E decreases for same potential x will be more. Delta x more. If field is increasing, field is increasing in any direction, like this the field line from closure. Closer the field line, you know, stronger the field. Have we? So it is here once. These are the field line representing a field increasing support in x direction. So here is the distance. Now the distance will keep on decreasing. This question has been asked many times in paper how to draw equal surfaces for a lecture in an electric field, which is increasing or decreasing in a particular direction. <coughs> if we have electric dipole, then uh, electric dipole field, you know, field line starts from positive charge, from negative, negative charge. So you can, and electric field lines are normal to surface. So it is dipole here having minus Q charge, plus Q charge, so electric field line will be like this, like this, then given surfaces, this is one here, this is another here, similarly here, And there will be a surface of large radius infinite, nearly plane. Here V equal to zero. Because you know at equatorial plane, at any point equatorial plane, electric potential of a field is there. Field to direction. Electric field lines are there in field for normal to the face. You can draw the field line like this. Have it has been asked in a board exam also. Have it like this. But if we have two equal like charges, two equal like charges are there, then what is the shape of equivalent surfaces? Uh, Q here and this is Q here again. <coughs> you know, field is zero there, but potential is not zero. So this is one plus two charge in, plus two charge here. So these will have like this. Okay. Here, then distance here will increase like this. And for a large distance, the two will behave like point charge. So they will have a common equivalent surface at large distance because at large distance the system of two point charge will behave like uh, a point charge. I think this video has become very much longer but I, my aim was to finish equivalent surface in this. Thank you.